How's it going guys? Leon here. So today's video is going to be another SketchUp video. Specifically, how to create your own materials in V-Ray for SketchUp. Okay guys, so the first material that we are going to render is the concrete material because it is going to be the easiest out of all materials. So all you got to do is press B to open up our V-Ray materials editor and then select a random color. I'll choose this color A01 or this red one. Apply it onto our polygons. Then once that's done, let's open our V-Ray material editor. This yellow M&M thingy on our V-Ray tab. Click that and then go under our Diffuse tab and then click this little M beside the color. Click that and then click this pull down menu. Select text bitmap and look for your concrete image. And here we go, we have our concrete image right here. Click OK and then close that and then our concrete material should apply onto our polygons right there. So our texture is a little bit too tiny. So all we got to do is click B to open up our materials editor again. Click on edit and just increase the size, 1054. There we go. Okay, so now you guys could see our texture is a little bit wonky on this sphere right here. So in order to fix the texture on our sphere, you need to download the extension called Sketch UV. So what Sketch UV basically does is it fixes the texture on unusual polygons like spheres, you know. So all we got to do is click on our sphere, click our extensions tab and click Sketch UV. There we go. Now, right click on the polygon on which texture you want to be fixed. And then let's click spherical map. And boom, it's going to map the texture onto a sphere. Now all we got to do is go back to our scene one and then render our material to see if it's okay. Six and a half hours later. And there you go, concrete material. Okay, let's move on to our next material, which is marble. So the process in making the marble material is kind of the same with the concrete. So what you gotta do is go to materials and select a random material, let's say this orange number, color C01, and then apply that onto your polygons again. And just basically the same, go to your material and then click this little M, choose text bitmap, look for your marble image. So here, let's choose this one. Click OK. There we go. If it's too small, just increase the size of our texture. And then let's fix this one with our Sketch UV plugin. There you go. Now, the difference between a concrete material and a marble material is that marble materials have this reflective layer on it. So all you got to do, select that material by going to our Materials tab and then click this tiny dropper tool thing sample paint and then let's click our V-Ray material editor. Okay, so now all we got to do is right click on our material on the material list right here on the left side. Right click that and then click create layer reflection. Now what that is going to do is it's going to make our material shiny. So there you go. It is now shiny. All we got to do is go back to scene one. Click on render. Eight hours later. And there you go guys, a marble material with a little bit of shine on the edges. Yeah. Okay guys, now that we're done with our two basic materials, we are going to move on to a much more complicated material which is wood. So repeat the same process, just choose a random texture. I'm gonna choose this yellow one, apply that onto our polygons, and then go to our V-Ray material editor, and just look for our text bitmap. So, I have this wood one here. Click OK. Let's preview that. And there we go. Now you could just render this as is to save more time while rendering. But in order to make wood more realistic, we got to do a few more steps. Let's go to Material Editor. And then let's create a layer of reflection. Because you know, some wooden floors have this varnish applied on them or some wax that makes it a little bit shinier. So once you have a reflection, if we render it as is, it's going to look like your floor is made out of tiles and it's going to look like fake wood. So we don't want that to happen. So all you got to do is go to our reflection tab and under the general presets, let us change the filter color. So let's choose somewhere brown, which is the same color as our wood. So basically what that does is it's going to change the color of the reflection. So if we choose a brown color, it's going to make the reflections brown. But if we go back to our white color, it's going to change our reflections into a white color. So let's go back to our brown color. Darn, I lost it. There we go. In order to reduce the overall shininess of our wood, let us go to our glossiness parameters and let's make our highlight 0.8 and the reflect 0.8. And there we go. As you guys could see, 
the reflectiveness is reduced a little bit and the reflections aren't that sharp anymore, making it look like wood. We render that as is, it's going to look really good. 20 minutes later. Two days later. And there you go, you now have a wood texture. But if you guys want a little bit more detail on your wood, that sounded pretty wrong. Anyways, going back to the topic, if you guys want this whole wood texture a little bit more detailed, we are going to add a diffuse map and a bump map. So all we got to do is bring out our V-Ray SketchUp material editor again. And then underneath our wooden material, let's go underneath the maps tab. And then beside the bump, click on the tiny check mark and then click on this little M. Let's choose text bitmap and then look for our bump map. There you go, click OK. And then let's go to our displacement parameter, click on the checkbox beside it, and then click on the tiny M again. Let's look for our text bitmap of our displacement. Then let us preview what that would look like. And basically what that does is it adds a little bit more texture and a little bit more, you know, grain into our wood. Okay, now let's render that. One pair of pants later. And we're done. So now if you are going to look at our polygons, it is a little bit distorted because we have added a little bit more three dimensionality onto our textures with those bump and displace maps. So that is what you have to do. All right guys, so our next material is the glass material. So this is one of the most complicated materials that you could create by yourself. But anyway, stick around because later I'm going to teach you guys a shortcut to create all these materials. So yeah, if you're wondering why I taught you guys these long cuts, it is because the basics is the foundations to mastery. So you need to know the long cut before doing the shortcut so that it doesn't feel like cheating. That made no sense. Anyways, let's go back into making our material. So all you got to do is go back to our SketchUp materials list and pick a translucent material. So let's choose this translucent blue glass. Apply that onto our textures. So make sure that the inside and the outside of our textures has the material. Now, all you got to do is click on our V-Ray SketchUp Material Editor. Right click on our translucent glass and then create a reflective layer. If you preview that, it's going to look just like a shiny blue glass thing. If you guys like that, you could keep it. But in order to make it a little bit more realistic, let's go into the Materials tab. Click on Edit and then reduce the opacity so that our glass turns into a completely clear translucent glass. Let's go to our scene one and then render that. Let's see how that looks. Later. And boom, there you go guys. We now have a clear glass material which looks like glass. I don't know what I was expecting it to look like but it, it does look like glass. So now that we know how to create our glass material, I'm now going to teach you guys the shortcut to creating your materials just like that. It's like poof, just like magic. Okay, so all you got to do is go into Google and then type Vismat download free. And then click on this link, vismats.com. Don't worry, this doesn't have any viruses. So here you could download any number of vismats. So for those of you who do not know what a vismat is, it is basically a preset of a texture that you just click and import onto your texture so that your texture is already preset. That didn't make any sense. I'm just going to teach you guys how to use a vismat. Okay, so I've pre-downloaded a vismat of glass materials onto my computer. So all you got to do is choose a random color again or a random texture. Let's say, uh, let's choose this green one. Apply that onto our polygons and then go to our V-Ray material editor. Right click on our green material, click on import material. Then look for your vismat. So here I have the glass vismat. Open that and that is going to basically apply all of the presets that that glass vismat has onto our texture. So if we preview that, boom, we now have a high quality glass material which is a whole lot better than the glass we made a while ago. Go back to our scene one and then let's render that to see how it looks like. 3,000 years later. And there you go. We now have an instant glass material just like that. All you had to do was download it and import it and then boom, no more of that basic mumbo jumbo shizzles that I did a while ago. But you know, basics are important, so don't skip that. Okay, so now that you guys know how to create materials from scratch and how to apply vismats onto any polygon that you have on your model. So now I'm going to show you guys where I download my seamless JPEG images or my seamless textures that I have used in creating those wood, concrete, marble, you know, all those images that I use to create those basic materials. So let us go back to Google and then type SketchUp Texture Club. 
The first website that's going to come up is this sketchuptextureclub.com. Click on that and then it's going to redirect you into a website that has tons and tons of textures. So let's see here. So here we have a ton of architectural textures, material textures, nature elements, and backgrounds. So this is where I download most of my materials. So all of the textures and images here are seamless, meaning that if you apply them onto any texture, there's not going to be any weird joining of you know uneven or unaligned edges. So that's what seamless textures mean. It's going to look real. Real nas. Real nas. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyways, with that weird Borat impression, I'm just going to end the whole video right here. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for sticking until the end and watching this message from me. Anyways, if you guys liked this video and found it a little bit educational or learned something from it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. For more videos like this from me, your boy Leon, I'll see you guys in the next video. Arky Squad represent Flying Peace. <laughs>